Hi, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I'm a health empath, and I just like having these little talks and the way I feel about things. And we got Tuck snoozing over here. Artie Pants just went back there. He's looking. He got a hurt toe. I think he got a nail that was too long. I trimmed it, but I think it started to break, and it it's like I don't know. So it's like jamming your knuckle. I would think it'd be the equivalency. So he's been limping around a little bit. He's in good spirits. And then uh, Benny over there, we all I just did about 50. I did a Lillian Eden a meditate state. Oh, I feel good. I'm all blissed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd get unplugged, unplugged from the world. Well, kind of, because I'm using technology to <laughs> connect to my inner, outer source. So... It is a good time. You just let your mind water wander and it wanders out so so far that your spirit has a freaking chance to come in and seat itself all the way and to be present. And, uh, for me, it's necessary. I do it about every day. I try to do about an hour. Sometimes I might not go under all the way, but all uh, how, even though I don't go under all the way every time, I'll at least being present for the hour or so and sometimes only get to do 30 minutes you know it's all divine it's just you got to try you got to try and and I couldn't meditate for years and years and then I had an instance back in 2014 where my pituitary gland freaking had a headache for six years and my or six years six days seven days straight and on and I, I was throwing up I was it was like worst thing I'd ever experienced in my head and and um so finally I called the doctor because I was like I can't go on like this every day <laughs> so they said come in I went in they did a uh, my pituitary gland was enlarged and that was my third eye opening they just you know they did it they 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 saw that it was enlarged and then further tests you know and then it and and it had gone back down it was it was in it was a fluke or whatever but I knew the real deal and uh <laughs> been a spiritualist my whole entire life and so uh anyways that's when things started changing a lot for me and anyway as present day today's the 29th of December Sunday about two o'clock in the afternoon to 2 15 and uh it's cold today in Sally Oregon man it's it's, it's and it's not temperature cold it's energy cold, and there's the difference. And what I'd like to explain that is, is temperature cold. Like, you know, I think it's like in the mid 40s, which is like t-shirt weather in some countries in January. Um, where's my Yankee weather? Because <clears throat> it's, it's raining, so usually when it rains, it gets a little bit warm, warmer. Yeah, it's 43, so that's freaking warm, you know, but it feels to me like 38 or 39. And that's when it, when it does that for me personally, it's energy. It's an energy cold, like bone chilling. That's show, show tells me that there's a lot of fear and a lot of unrest in my local area. I'm stationed at the 45th parallel in so Salem, Oregon. And, um, and that's, it's like when, when you feel a breeze, you know, like, when you walk in and you feel a breeze, you know, that shift in old houses and stuff that are drafty and stuff, that's a frequency. That's spirits. That's, that's you know, diff people or entities, being vibrations, old remnants of people in different dimensions. That's what, that's all ghosts are. It's all a ghost star. It's just spirits in a different dimension and different weak frequency and that's why kids and animals and sensitives like me can pick up on him because we allow our spirit to experience and, and acknowledge when it's traveling through different dimensions you know we recognize our spirit first of all that's a start how many people don't even recognize the fact that they have a spirit in this life it's weird more and more people are waking up to it all the time every day Cause people like me have been posting for, you know and been touting about this energy stuff my whole life you know to the point that it's just like you know I'm not obsessive because I'm more into balance than that, but I've just been very adamant about it because I want to tell much people what I know as I possibly can because it'll freaking help explain a lot of stuff, you know? And there ain't no way to answer 
you know, come up with a definitive answer 100% because we're never given all the information that we need to do that. We're never going to be given any all the information, whether it's government. You know, there's always layers of privilege and layers of you get to know. And, and it's always a club. There's always a hierarchy, you know, and <laughs> it always has been. I'm looking at a world, hopefully, where that, that hierarchy comes down and we get more of a level playing field. And that's what this whole next year of 2020, the year of clear vision, is going to be all about, man. All the corruption, all the freaking cheaters, they're going to get theirs because you can't do it. I was explaining it to mom. I'm like, you can't be a shady freaking shyster for freaking your whole entire life, all the way up into your 70s and 80s. You know, and not have that, and not have that, all the negative energy that you put out come back to you. So all the freaking people that have paid their way and bought and cheated and stolen and squandered and put people in bad positions because dance puppet dance, all those creeps, they're about to get theirs in a very big way. Huge, huge, huge way. And that's going to create a more of a balance of energy. You know, it's all this old misogynistic patriarchy nonsense. My way is do it because I said so. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm a respectable person. I, I respect people, elders and people behind me as long as they do respectable things. I never respected people because of their title. And people that have titles know that about me. So they don't like to freaking put me in 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 real high standing you know they don't like to help me out real much because i are i know that they're just freaking fluff you know the more people have you know the bigger people are and you're not sharing that stuff with other people all you are is fluff you're this little tiny little spirit and this big old egoic boss soul sack you know the more people are start because the way i look at it money is energy right and and a lot of people say that i prove it See, my overheads pay for. I got freaking my back, you know, it's like it's like my bills are paid for, you know. Anything excess I make, I wanted I'll keep 49% and give 51 away to other people strangers on the street because I don't care about money because my ego is in balance with my spirit. So I don't need it to prove what a big deal I am because my life experience and the fact that I'm coming out, you know, and I'm still a freaking good, joyful person when there ain't a whole lot of people that have been through the experiences that I've been that have stayed out, that have not let the world jade them, that has not turned them into an evil, freaking opportunistic freak a-hole. I'm not one of those, you know. I'm 45 and I'm not. I'm still happy. I'm still joyful and I'm only getting more joyful and I just want to teach other people how, you know. And part of that is, look how many people, look at all the money in the world. Look at, all, if you think about all the people and all the rich people in the world, you know, there ain't a really a whole lot of them, but they control all the money of the world. And look at all the people, I, there's all, I, I read articles today in like, I think like 20 states, freaking um, minimum wages are going up. And they're like to 10 bucks, right? 10 bucks an hour, right? And, uh, and, uh. <laughs> I was just like, well, that is so nice of them, considering the people that are coming up with the ideas that do that. They pay themselves like $120, $130 an hour, you know. That's what, it, that's what they, if you break it down in Congress, it's like that. They make $174,000 a year to sometimes meet and then bicker, argue like children back and forth when nothing ever gets done. But they're getting paid and they're getting their, their tax breaks and they're getting their, you know, it's just all, all that old stuff is just going to come down because we, the world is going to get, I feel like it's been, you know, the energy has always given us opportunity to act right, you know? Like every year when people do their New Year's resolution, I'm just like, why don't they just not be a D-hole and be disciplined all year round and then you don't have to freaking sham shock it at the beginning of the next year to play catch up like it matters or something, you know what I mean? But whatever, to each his own. I should need to learn to be less critical. <laughs> um, anyway, so... um. Like age of the Aquarius, it's not age of Aquarius, you know. Hippies are gonna freaking win at one point because they're gonna keep trying. I'm Generation X, and and uh, and uh, 
you know, we're freaking, we're from the hippie generation, you know, so, well, I'm all about peace and love, and I've, because I've seen war, and more and more people are being made to see war, so, they're, they're, they're like in the peaceful option, because, you know, not everybody gets, to, unless everybody got to profit, but no, you know, supposedly there's only 382 million people in the million people in the United States, yet the military government, so a bunch of old dudes can swing their wieners or feel like they still can, are spending 782 billion in military. And you know what? It's where's it going to? Because it's not going to the freaking machines and the equipment to maintain the stuff and and freaking it's not going to the houses for the enlisted no it's going to all the freaking riches so all the generals can play their rich man white man freaking rich man freaking white boy chess you know you know and and everybody's figuring it out and there is enough for everybody to go around so nobody has to freaking have be homeless and people have food and stuff like that. It's the stingy mofos at top that are about to come falling down on their ivory tower. and It's going to be fun to watch. So if uh, the people are really going to have the hard time this next year, the way I see it are the ones that believe in a system or believe in something that is freaking comes from a source of greed. Anything that, yeah. So any, all those paradigms are going to freaking fall down and then they're going to rebuild. But it's going to be a, a rough and tumble fall, I assure you that. But it'll be good. It's all good. It's all good. So I might go up and um, there's a meeting of photographers at the park this afternoon. I might go up and check that out. We'll see. I don't know. I'm all gusto. Then the evening comes and I'm just like, I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> we'll see. That's about all I got for now. Hope you have a rad day. Peace.